Hey, what's good? It's Dale Life Saint 3 here. Welcome back to another episode of Mob Battles. And yeah, today's Sunday. This video is way past overdue, but the thing is, though, I couldn't really think of anything, but it's whatever. At least the video is here. Am I right? But anyways, um, so yeah, for today's Mob Battles episode, and the dual-headed wither turret is coming back to the arena as the opponent. Yeah, I say I'm saying coming back because um, you know, you guys remember the original um wither turrets add-on that I used to use a lot in my Mob Battles episode slash, and I also showcased. Well, sadly, that add-on doesn't work anymore, but they have came back into the Chinese Titans add-on even better. I mean, check this out. So this is the dual-headed wither turret, and also there's a max level one and a single-headed one, but um, for some reason the max leveled one doesn't attack, and I think the dual-headed is cooler. So yeah, this dude has 500 health per head and the uh, 1,000 health per the stand, so that's like 2,000 health in total. Yes, this mob has three hitboxes, but anyways, yeah, that's that's the cool thing about him. I wonder what happens if... Oh, shoot, I spawned in a second one. But anyways, yeah, that kind of thing. You know, you get the idea. He shoots Wither Skulls that do so much damage. It's ridiculous. And also the and also the Challengers are a bunch of Challengers that I'm bringing back to the arena as well. And also, guys, before I, um you know, introduce everything... What are you wondering? What happened to the arena? I thought I got a new one. Yes, there's more. It's covered. It's covered in webs. So yeah, guys, um, off camera, I was gonna challenge this dude against some mobs from the new um futuristic titans add-on by h2v i mean it's a really really cool add-on i mean i highly suggest you tech checking it out so yeah i tested this mob off camera it, it was like a futuristic spider titan and this freaking spider covered my entire arena in webs so i literally just copied a brand new world and this is what happened to it while testing <laughs> oh my gosh bro so yeah we're we can only use a part of this arena today sorry but luckily we're not using any Anything too big kind of but anyways here are the challengers um this weird dude I don't know what he is he's like a laser pillager as I would call it he has 60 health he's from the ancient times add-on from white guest I haven't I haven't entered any of those mobs from made by him into the arena before but today I am um the robo pounder from the or spawn add-on yep 200 health really cool mob the hammerhead another mob from the or spawn mod pretty cool the fire warrior yep i'm bringing back the warriors today in the arena all the epic warriors that have been destroying mobs ever since um the cyclops yes also from the ancient times add-on this dude literally shoots lasers he is not a freaking ancient time mob why why is he here and the little thing in the back of my freaking case fell out Anyways, let's continue. And the Ice Warrior. Yup, he's coming back. The good old Ice Warrior. The Winter Dread Pine. I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name, but he's from the Ter- Or she's from the Territory of Heart add-on. And she did pretty well against the other mobs, so I'm bringing her back. Comment down below if you guys want me to review the Territory of Heart add-on. That add-on is also made by H2V, and it's very well done. Maybe I'll review it at Spikezilla. Yep, he's coming back. I feel like he has not been in the arena enough. All right, he's too epic epic to be left out so yeah he's coming back um what else the omega fish i i feel so bad this dude always go, just goes in my arena just to get owned so the omega fish um hero brian yep hero brian's coming back i think he'll put up a good fight against the wither turret um the ultra fire warrior he's also coming back i think he'll also make a good fight against the wither turret and last but not least the gas titan to finish him off yes this dude killed rodin <laughs> It's absolutely insane. So, yeah, that's gonna be the final flying mob. So yeah, I guess this will this signifies after I reviewed every single mob, I guess we could get started. So yeah, let's spawn into dual headed wither turret and this weird looking pillager dude. This dude. <laughs> Come on, dude, that wasn't even fair. All right, you know what? Let's spawn in a bunch of these dudes. They look really cool. Yeah, I, I don't know what they do. They either smack them. Oh, they smack them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the totem and one of the heads are have the wither effect, but it's fine though. They're fine. Anyway, you know what? Let's spawn in an entire army. Yeah. <laughs> army arise. Alright. Oh snap. Oh snap. The explosion radius. It's insane, bro. Alright, there they go. One last one. He's dead. <laughs> oh shoot. Wait, are they fighting? Are <laughs> 
The two heads are fighting each other. What? How does that make sense? The two heads were fighting each other. Eh, whatever. Let's go on to the next mob, which is the Robo Pounder. See, this dude is really cool. 200 health, does a lot of damage, high defense and regeneration. And yeah, this dude just smacks them. Look at them arms. Look at his arms. Or unless... Aw, oh, they don't fight? Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> they fight each other, but, um... Okay, never mind, they fight. <laughs> I just had to spawn in two of them. You didn't even hit them. You know what, let's spawn in three. How about three? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that poor <laughs> Robo Pounder, it's stuck. Oh no, the poor dude. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, yep, he wins that round. Only one head has taken like um 18 damage. <laughs> yeah, that's a big rip in the chat. So yeah, that means we can go on to the Hammerhead. So yeah, this dude has 240 health, and normally this dude would do a lot of knockback, but the thing is though, the Withered Turret is resistant to knockback. And I didn't realize this, but you have six legs. I thought you only had four. <laughs> that is so weird. Anyway, let, let the battle begin. Okay. Aw, oh, he didn't even get a chance. You know what? Spawn him right next to him. All right, come on. Can you hit him? Oh, he hit one head and it did like 30 damage. Anyway, let's spawn in three of them. They must take revenge. Oh shoot, now they're fighting each other. Oh, come on, dude. Why do you have to do this? The poor hammerheads. Why do they have to take this much abuse? <laughs> uh, they're like the wither skulls are so consi consistent. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I spawned in another one. You know what, just go ahead and take care of that one. So yeah, one head left at 401. <laughs> Ripperino, Ripperino to that one. Say so, well, 401, rip. Anyway, so yeah, with all that done, let's go ahead and go on to the Fire Warrior. Say so, this dude has 750 health. You guys may have remembered him. He has a, he has an enchanted diamond sword. When you stand near him, you catch on fire. <laughs> yeah, and this dude is crazy. You don't mess around with him. He has magma block trails. You have to make a mess around the arena. Any teleports. So you spawn in a dual header and let's go ahead and get this started. He's resisted the fire. <laughs> you killed him so fast. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. You killed him so fast. Anyway, you know what? Let's spawn in like a bunch of them. <laughs> all right that that's absolute chaos <laughs> now here they go and they also levitate in the air just to escape the the, the attacks <laughs> anyways um how much are they left at um the um totem pole is left at 975 well i'm just gonna knock you down where um the wither turret's supposed to be <laughs> unless i can't i can't break the blocks Okay, so it turns out that this is a crap show and the Wither Turret's confused. So yeah, don't spawn in multiple of those dudes. Yeah, it'll, it'll not be pretty. So yeah, um, he only had to kill one to, in order to ex succeed. <laughs> so yeah, that's the um, good old Fire Warrior for you. So the next mob is pretty weird. This dude is a Cyclops that shoot lasers. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like manly i should say so yeah, this dude has um somewhere around 2000 or 1000 health i'm not sure but yeah this around the four digit range and he carries a giant club with him so yeah, he has to do some damage right so yeah, let the battle begin all right <laughs> come on dude why do you have to kill him so fast <laughs> oh the poor dude yeah his death sound is kind of sad but um Everything left at 974, 74, 70. He does like 30 damage to each hitbox. Oh, uh, shoot. I spawned in that dude. Let's spawn in three of these dudes and see what happens. Uh-oh. He damaged one, and now they're fighting each other. You see how they shoot lasers? That is so loud. Okay. That is so unbelievably loud. Stop it. Stop making so much noise. Anyway. So, yeah. um, Both heads left at... One head left at 380, one hell, one hell head left at 240, and the totem left at 867. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these battles have been going on pretty fast, and I know what you're thinking. Why are you picking so so many weak mobs for this episode? Well, I just decided to prove to you that how strong and how improved the wither turrets are now. So yeah. So yeah, with all that said, let's go on to the Ice Warrior. The, my man. 
Oh, he doesn't make it rain or do ice trails anymore. Ah, uh, whatever. This add-on is becoming pretty dang old anyway. So yeah, this dude has 880 health, does a ton of damage. Knockback moves, ice moves, summon in minions, and also has a pet with him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you yeah, spawn in the um, wither turret. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let the battle begin, and he's dead. Uh, rip to him. Oh, dang, he did a decent amount of damage, though. You want to spawn in two. Yeah, let's spawn in two. Oh, <laughs> the ice, the ice warrior sound effects are kind of funny, honestly. So yeah, let's. And he's dead. That is the one. Of, that's the fastest I've seen the ice warrior die. Well, I don't know. Is it? I think that might be the fastest I've ever seen the ice warrior die. But yeah. So yeah, he's at 888. The totem is, and the heads are left in three three hundreds and um four hundreds. So yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect him to kill the Ice Warrior that fast. So what I'm about to do is spawn in the two of the next um, challenger, which is the Winter Dried Pine or whatever. Has 1,600 health, has some really cool abilities, and also, you know, gives you a bunch of warnings and guidelines in order to fight this dude. So anyways, let's spawn in the Withered Turret and let the battle begin. <laughs> oh no, they do fight. But yeah, um... They do so much damage. Why? Why do you do so much damage? Anyway. Oh, I must teleport the two dudes. TP at EFP. Oh, no. What happened? Eh? What happened to the heads? What happened to the heads? <laughs> okay, they're, they're just chilling here, and the totem is trying to attack it, but the totem doesn't do anything. Oops, buggy. You know what? Let's do that again. So yeah, one, two, let the battle begin. All right. So yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna do damage to him, but I'm not sure how much. All right, all right. That is insane. <laughs> they keep spawning in these little specky boys that have a thousand health. Ah, eh, whatever. Well, it doesn't look like that it done any. What are you attacking? It doesn't look like it has done all that well. Why are you attacking the teleportation slash kill machine? Why? Why are you? Why you do this? Why you? Why you? I'm freaking killing everything. Anyway, it's whatever. So yeah, with all that done, let's go on to Spike Zilla. Yep, this dude's big. So yeah, this dude has around 3,500 health. I'm not sure. I forgot what he does. It's been a while since he's been in the arena, and he also talks in Japanese. <laughs> so yeah, this dude is insane. He's also a bit creepy because he is missing his eyes. <laughs> but it's whatever, though. Spikezilla, I think you can take care of him. Let the battle begin. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's killing the. He's killing him. No way, he's killing him. <laughs> He's shooting them fireballs. I forgot how hard he hits. Um, you're missing him? You're missing him? You're missing him because he's he's right there. Oh shoot, why did I spawn in another one? Oh shoot. Anyway, it's whatever. I'm spawning in another one just for the lols. He killed him. He actually, he's actually killing him. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, it turns out that when he tries to kill one, he kills one of the heads and makes them, un makes them you know, un in unable to attack. So yeah, Spikezilla, I should say, did he win? You know what, we'll try that again. <laughs> that was a weird round, it's whatever. We'll, we'll let him, we'll give him another chance. Anyway, let the battle begin. All right, the sun's just coming out. He killed, he keeps killing the head. <laughs> okay, so you know what, we're just gonna count that as a win for Spikezilla. So yeah, let's just count that as a win for him. Dang, bro, you killed him. Yep, first mob to kill him, gone down. So yeah, it turns out that Spikezilla is able to kill uh, the Wither Turret. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So yeah, let's spawn in another one and go on to the Omega Fish. So yeah, this dude is insane. Summons in so many minions, 8,000 health, and I guess we're beginning the battle already. Oh my goodness, you hit so hard. Um, are you gonna be able to kill him? Or, judging by the fact that one of the heads died already, um, yeah. The minions are trying to attack him, but it ain't working. <laughs> he's killing, he's killing the, the freaking main mother. Okay, is he already dead? Okay, the Wither Turret's already dead, and he's left at 47.39. You want to spawn in another one? Kill another one. So, yeah. <laughs> All the explosions and sounds, they're insane. Alright. Alright, you're lagging. You're hella lagging. 
Alright, and it's only the totem that's left. Alright, so I kind of underestimated the strength of the Omega Fish. So yeah, um, is he about dead? Is he dying? I can't tell, are he dead? <laughs> All the elemental minions just took care of him. He's under the ground currently. And he's left at around... Um, 4660. He didn't even take that much damage on the second one. You know what? Let's spawn in like a bunch of them. Because why not? Okay. The explosions. <laughs> Alright, this is insane. Oh my goodness. Dang, bro. Okay, lesson learned. Do not spawn them next to each other or else they'll fight each other. I don't know what's going on. Only one is still intact with both heads, all the, you know, boxes and all that stuff. Okay. So the totem on the, on the last one is dying 18 zero. You're dead. So the dude is left at 2720. Hot damn was that insane. So yeah, oil. So yeah, let's do a kill at E and just go ahead and go on to the last one. So yeah, there's the silver, you know. Omega fish. Let's let him die for a second. So there he goes. Yeah, that's the death noise of him. I feel like I'm like rushing this episode mainly because I keep getting mad at over the fact that my videos are like over 20 to 30 minutes long or something like that. But eh, it's whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's just go ahead and spawn in the next one, which is Hero Brine. So this dude may have 700 health at first, but he's insane. What is he attack? What is he attacking? Oh shoot, he's attacking the um elemental minions. He's attacking everything. It's whatever though. You know what? Oh my goodness. The arena is on fire. <laughs> the whole thing is on fire. Um hello? Did the spider thing off camera change the game rules? <sighs> I don't like mobs like that where they just change you and change game modes and then just instantly kill you and change game rules change time of day weather all that things i don't like mobs like that little kids is the add-on community if you're watching this stop requesting that okay anyway it's whatever let's go ahead and spawn in hero brian near the staircase and spawn in the dude and let the battle begin oh my goodness those obsidian he's already in his 5000 health form oh frack all right so yeah the both heads are still intact. Um, is he gonna able to attack back? Oh, he is dead. With um one head only still alive, and you gave me weakness. How dare you? The obsidian blocks are like floating towards him and trying to kill him, and whatnot. Anyway, so yeah, that counts as a win. That was a quick battle. Yeah. <laughs> Say I'm not gonna spawn in multiple, all right? Because I know what's gonna happen. It's just disaster's gonna strike. You know what? Fine. Maybe I will. So I spawn in one wither turret. Spawn in two hero brines. Let the battle begin. Let's see if we can kill two more. Oh my goodness! Those explosions—they're insane, bruv. <laughs> okay, only one head is left. Oh no! Not only the totems left, and now they're fighting each other. Oh, uh, the poor wither turret. Only the totem is left. I think the totem hits really hard. I think. Wait, do they? I think they hit. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's what's going on, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, the wither turret's down after you spawn two. But I think that the first battle was a fluke in the system. But I'll still count it as a win. So yeah, let's go ahead and spawn in the ultra fire warrior for the next round. All right, so this dude has 56,250 health. Absolutely bat crap insane. This dude killed a ton of stuff in my mob battles arena and done a great job and was ranked surprisingly high in my, um, you know, most overpowered mob competition. <laughs> so yeah, this dude is probably gonna get destroyed. The, uh, the wither turret. Anyway, it's whatever. I'm just having fun today in this mob battles episode and I ran out of ideas, so don't mind me. So yeah, let the battle begin. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. He's actually damaging him. He may actually shoot those giant, you know, humongous projectiles. What is he doing? Alright, I think he's flying around in the air. He's flying around in the air or something like that. It's just 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 a countless amount of explosions. Come on, Fire Warrior, will you fight him? 
Um, I don't think the Fire Warrior is fighting him. You know what? Let's just do a kill at E. Yeah, um, I think the Fire War Ultra Fire Warrior has retired. He ain't attacking anything anymore. F in the chat, boys. Yeah, I think he has retired. He ain't fighting anything anymore, sadly. Uh, yeah, I think it has something to do with the 1.16 update. Yeah, he's not allowing himself to attack. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go on to the Gas Titan round. Because I just want to see him die again. That was hilarious. Oh my goodness. Look at that health. <laughs> he has like 10 health per tentacle. How much health does he have? Like 200,000? It's insane. Anyway, you know what? Let's just spawn in. You know what? Let's spawn in like an, a separated army of wither turrets and see how this goes down. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is actually crazy. What am I listening to? Is the main question. Um, there's so, <laughs> so many explosions. I, f I feel like I laughed too much. Oh, they're already dead. Would you look at that? The freaking fire war. The freaking turrets are already dead. This dude is insanely big. Oh, at W? Kill at W. Eh, I didn't really feel like making a video today, as you can tell. Oh my gosh, that was the most demented gassed death sound I've ever heard. But anyways, yeah, this was a pretty crazy episode today. And a rather one that I was like, eh, whatever, I'm just going to do this and that and, you know, not say anything. And I ran out of ideas. But anyways, overall, the Wither Tur is very strong, but also very weak at the same time. He, he's just another one of those mobs that are either very strong or very weak. Yeah, he's very strong towards mobs that have, like, only a 1,000 health or over. But weak to the mobs who have more health than that and or hit really 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 hard yes <laughs> so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did definitely smash that like button comment down below if you what you want me to do next next week i'll probably do a modern maps episode since i haven't done one of those in a while but yeah it's september my boys september and the sun's coming out again but anyways guys that's all i had to say see you next time peace out